Come for the football, stay for the ads. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Super Bowl 2017 commercials. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're picking our favorite commercials released in conjunction with Super Bowl 51, whether they're funny, touching, or something else entirely. However, we won't be including trailers for movies or TV shows. Sorry, Logan fans. Number 10. Snickers presents a live Super Bowl commercial. Snickers. Jeremiah! All we needed to know about this Snickers ad was that it starred Adam Driver, also known as Kylo Ren, and it was live. Now let's go back to that Super Bowl and see if the Raiders can hold on to that 11 point lead. The first live Super Bowl commercial since 1981's Great American Beer Test, Snickers worked in the score at halftime to prove its liveness. And 21 3. We're live. No, 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 third quarter. This is the third quarter. Hammering home the lesson that you should never do anything important without a snack first, Driver trips and knocks down a pole, starting a chain reaction that ultimately sees the entire set in a shambles. Logistically, this was risky to plan and shoot, with everything falling on cue. But the risk paid off. Can we, uh... Number 9. Hero's Journey, Kia. Hey, Melissa, the whales need your help. I love whales! What better way to introduce your Guinness World Record holding hybrid crossover than with some slapstick featuring Melissa McCarthy? With the Bridesmaids actress acting as an eco-warrior, this commercial sees McCarthy trying to save the whales, the trees, the ice caps, and the rhinos. Of course, each effort culminates in a disastrously painful-looking pratfall, until McCarthy ultimately decides that driving a car as environmentally friendly as the Nero will have to be enough for her Earth-saving efforts. Maybe not exactly the message Kia was going for, but a funny Super Bowl ad nonetheless. The Kia Nero. Number 8. Avo Secrets – Avocados from Mexico Good afternoon and welcome. What? No explosions, only a split-second shot of a celebrity, and the ads for a fruit. A gutsy spot that relies solely on fast-paced jokes to keep its audience engaged, Avo Secrets features some inept members of what we assume is the Illuminati, discussing all the world events they've influenced. Do they know we faked the moon landing? No, not yet. Or that there are only 49 shades of grey? Moon landing, deflate gate, Area 51, all them. Throw in a product mention, plus a celeb cameo by the always hypnotic John Lovitz. Eat them! And you've got 2017's cleverest Super Bowl commercial. Subliminal advertising or not, we seriously want some guac right now. What they do know is that avocados from Mexico have good fats. Kyle, are you streaming this? Is that not cool? Number 7. Calling John Malkovich. Squarespace. Hello, John. This is John Malkovich. No, it's not a joke. Anyone even vaguely familiar with the man, the myth, the legend that is John Malkovich knows he's impossibly articulate and guys got a temper. Get out of my name! Website building platform Squarespace capitalizes on those facts here. In this alternate reality, Malkovich is both an actor and a wannabe fashion designer. So he's trying to secure JohnMalkovich.com to advertise his latest career move. Or maybe. Maybe they're looking for me! Thing is, John Malkovich the Fisherman got there first. This results in a classic, exasperated Malkovich ranting jag that ultimately ends with the Academy Award nominee getting hung up on by John Malkovich. Hey, no one's more meta than Malkovich. John Malkovich hung up. JohnMalkovich.com has a temper. Number 6. The Entire Journey, 84 Lumber. Does he stay? A lot of companies made political statements at the Super Bowl, and 84 Lumber was one of them. Fox rejected their commercial for being too political, so the ending aired online instead. A mother and daughter are traveling on foot from Mexico to the US, but when they reach the border, there's a huge wall in their path. But thanks to a door made of lumber and the will to succeed, they're able to enter the country. Certainly the most controversial ad to air during Super Bowl 51, it divided audiences. And a quick scan of the YouTube comments will show you just how much. But that's what 84 Lumber came to do, get people talking, and they succeeded. Number 5. Cleaner of your dreams, Mr. Clean. 
What do you get when you cross Magic Mike and household cleaning products? This, apparently. A buffed up, sexed up Mr. Clean makes his Super Bowl debut as the fantasy of everyone who's tired of doing housework. Wearing tighter whites than usual, the big bald man shows off his sweet dance moves while making sure the house is spotless. Of course, the big reveal is that she'd been daydreaming the whole time, and it's actually her husband doing the chores. Men, let this be a lesson to you. Clean the house, get some lovin'. It's just that easy. Clean enough? Number four, yearbooks. Honda, you might not know where you're going or what you're doing, or why you're carrying this red rose with you. In what was pound for pound the most star-studded out of the game, Honda brought together Tina Fey, Robert Redford, Amy Adams, Magic Johnson, Steve Carell, Missy Elliott, Stan Lee, Jimmy Kimmel, and Viola Davis to advertise their CRV. Well, when we say Honda brought them together, we mean they CGI'd their yearbook photos to tell us to chase our dreams. If you want to make a universe, make a universe. Uncanny Valley vibe notwithstanding, this is a cute ad that will surely stand the test of time. No politics, and barely any mentions of the product come to think of it. Just some sweet humor and a valuable lesson. If you want to play the clarinet, maybe don't dress like this, but play the clarinet. Number three, born the hard way, Budweiser. I'm a man, you're a man. Take my leash, I need to show you something. Whoa! Bud Light used Spuds McKenzie in humor to sell beer, but Budweiser went political. Welcome to America. You got one here. Go back home. Released online four days after President Donald Trump enacted what critics called a Muslim ban, the poignant spot follows Anheuser-Busch co-founder Adolphus Busch as he immigrates to the United States from Germany to start a beer company, detailing both the prejudice and encouragement he faced along the way. You don't look like you're from around here. Labeled anti-Trump propaganda by the haters and a well-timed salute to the American dream by its fans, Budweiser's Born the Hard Way triggered a conversation either way, becoming the number one trending video on YouTube within 24 hours of its release and prompting the hashtag Boycott Budweiser to trend on Twitter during the big game. The next time, this is the beer we drink. Never had Anheuser. Dolphus Bush. Number two, daughter. Audi. What do I tell my daughter? We never thought there'd be a proudly feminist ad at the big game. Changing gears from their previous funnier Super Bowl commercials, this Audi ad is squarely aimed at dads of little girls. With the narrating father discussing his daughter's self-worth, the matching video sees a young girl crushing it in a soapbox derby. Do I tell her that despite her education, her drive, her skills, her intelligence, she will automatically be valued as less than every man she ever meets. Ending with a call for workplace gender equality, this Audi ad is apparently a representation of what the brand stands for. And coming just a few weeks after the 2017 Women's March, it couldn't have aired at a more perfect time. Or maybe I'll be able to tell her something different. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. It ain't no lie, baby. Bye, bye, bye. We got the shimmy, we got the shake, and the shimmy, shimmy shake. Then there was T.O. We took it to the next level. I've recently had some unforeseen medical expenses. Oh, I hope it's not too bad. Uh... Number one, big game, Wix.com. Action, celebrities, comedy, what more could you want from a Super Bowl commercial? Directed by Louis Leterrier, director of The Transporter, this cinematic ad knows what its audience wants and gives it to them. In this case, that means Jason Statham and Gal Gadot helping business owner Felix figure out how to succeed in a disruptive world, regardless of any obstacles that get in his way. Web development platform Wix premiered the ad live on Facebook and YouTube in January, and before Super Bowl 51 even aired, it had been seen over 4 million times. Our only question is, when do we get to see this movie? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.